got John today. Um, John has decided to come in and just um, tell us a bit about what he does and um, let us into um, his treatment journey as we um, make some whitening trays um, and whiten his teeth for him. So um, thank you for coming, John. No problem. John, so just let us know, what, what do you do? I've, I've been looking on your Instagram profile, it says um, <laughs> that you're a world record holder, mm -hmm. football adventurer, yeah. um, and a presenter as well. Yeah, um, so, well, I'm a football freestylist, which means I do like tricks and skills with a ball that has actually taken me all over the world for the past 15 years. But yeah, recently I've been doing a lot more like media work, video creation, and I get to present on CBBC now, which is really cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm keeping myself busy yes. and um, using, you know, what I do and my love for, for sport and football, hopefully to, you know, inspire youngsters to, to, to maybe follow the same path or at least lead you know, a healthy lifestyle. Yes. And how did you get into that? Through football. So yeah. I played, I grew up playing football as most kids do. But yeah. when I got into my teenage years, I was really drawn to like footballers that could do really cool skills yes. and, and unique things with the ball. So I just started to practice and I got quite good at it through repetition. Um, and then, you know, later on, in my teenage years, when I was about 18, 19, I decided to take the sport of freestyle football really seriously. Yes. And yeah, I, I started to, to become, you know, reasonably successful at it. And it just kind of built a, a career that came from nowhere. Like yeah. that was never the plan. It was just, I enjoyed initially football and then it, it led me down this route. Yeah. So I'm very grateful. What are some highlights? Where has it taken you? I've been so lucky actually, because I've been to so many different places, but I think the, the highlights for me have been some of the challenges that I've done. Um, I'd say one of the toughest things I did was I went up to 6,000 meters of my Everest while keeping a ball in the air, um, which was tough, but it was like a very interesting place, yeah. very magical. I'd never really been anywhere like it before. Um, also across the Sahara, which again was like very hot, but very different, yeah. um, very challenging. So yeah, like when I reflect on those things, they were like highlights really. Fantastic. <laughs> and have you always been Lancashire based? Yeah, well I grew up here and uh, my family, like pretty much all my family are from Lancashire. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm, I'm still very proud to, to live in Lancashire. Yeah. I, I, I love traveling and I hopefully continue to travel, but I, I always like to come back to, to this beautiful part of the country. Fantastic. I love it here. I agree, yeah. Love it here as well. Yeah. Um, and now just turning towards dentistry, um, how have you found dentistry? Do you have a regular dentist that you've always gone to? Um, has have there been good experiences, bad experiences, mixed experiences? How's it been for you? Yeah, do you know what? I've been probably quite fortunate. I've not had any like really bad experiences. No. Um, I've had like bits of work done throughout the years, but yeah. I've always tried to like keep on top of like my dental health. Yes. Um, I think recently it's been like super hard because of the pandemic to, yes. to actually get an appointment and a checkup, yeah. which is a little bit worrying because <laughs> if you leave it for, you know, a long period of time, you don't know if, if your teeth are actually in good health. So yes. I'd say all, all in all, it's been, you know, good. Yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll let you say yes. you're the expert. <laughs> and what's your routine like? You know. I just brush my teeth every day. Like, yes. um, you know, I, I, I'm always very, um, yeah, worried about that. I think, you know, going back to being on camera quite a lot, yeah. it's, it's important to, to have a good appearance. And I think certainly working in children's TV, when you, yes. you know, you try to give out good energy and smile a lot, like, you know, Good teeth are really important, aren't they? Yes. Have, have you ever got into the routine of flossing or do you use mouthwashes? Is there anything else that you use? Do you know what? I've not, but the one thing that I have used, and this you, you'll be able to, to sort of um, fact check on it, but the, um, you know, using coconut oil to, okay. to sort of, apparently that's like really good for like, like all the health. Okay. But I've used that before, um, but that's it. Other than that, it's just been like, very uh, very traditional yes. toothpaste toothbrush yeah. <laughs> so now, the thing is <laughs> with um, maintaining your oral health if you stick to diet um, brushing flossing 
flossing is one key that people miss out on because brushing only cleans 70% of your teeth. Flossing reaches the other 30% where your toothbrush can't reach. Okay. Um, that together will maintain your, your oral health for the okay. most part. Okay. And obviously the, the regular checkups as well, just yeah. to see how everything else yeah. is going. Okay. Um, but what we'll do is we'll have a scan and I'll have a little look as well and mm -hmm. we'll take it from there. So All right. Right. Your brushing is quite good. Okay. Um, you do have some gum recession set so mm -hmm. in these areas here where you're seeing more of your tooth. Mm -hmm. It's where your gums would have probably been around here and they've receded. Mm -hmm. So it may be that you are brushing too hard. Mm -hmm. You're using a manual electric at the moment. Just a manual, manual mm -hmm. So it may be that you've been too aggressive with the brush um, in those areas there. Mm -hmm. um, firm pressure. Um, but don't be too too abrasive. Mm -hmm. um, do you get sensitivity? I do like? actually, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, sometimes I can like feel, it, it's not like uncomfortable, but I can definitely see what you mean by like putting too much pressure on <laughs> it. So what I was saying is also consider using a sensitivity-based toothpaste only. Mm. and um, making sure that you're spitting out and not rinsing with water. Because what most people do is they rinse with water and it washes away the toothpaste. So the toothpaste doesn't get time to actually work on the teeth. Yeah. Have you ever whitened your, your, your teeth before? No. No, first no. time. <laughs> okay. The one thing that you can experience with whitening your teeth is um, sensitivity mm. during the process. Mm. After the process, things calm down again. Okay. But that's just something to be, to be aware of. Um, but um, I'll go through the whole process of um, how you use the whitening trays as well as the gel okay. um, to whiten your teeth. Yeah, I, I have a bit of a sweet tooth though. Okay. So the thing I get away with it because I, I am quite active, but mm. yeah. <laughs> with, with snacks, sweets, I mean, you're not going to get to a point where you never have anything sweet or um, anything mm. um, like that. What I say is keep it to your meal times if mm. you can. Mm. Just because the analogy I give is if you drank 10 cans of Coke within a short time, yeah. it's actually better than drinking one can of Coke during the whole morning wow. or the whole yeah. afternoon. Just because every time you have something to eat or drink, mm. your teeth need about 40 minutes to recover. So okay. if you're always sipping on something sweet, yeah. your teeth are never recovering wow. and they're actually um, being damaged, so that's interesting. That's why I say snacks, sweets, try mm. and keep it to your meal times, mm. then your teeth get a good chance to, to mm. recover. Interesting, yeah, yeah that, that's uh, good to know actually yeah. because it's easy to get into those habits if you like sat at a desk or like working, grazing, tired or something just to you know snack on. Yeah. It's been lovely to meet you and um, if we can get you booked in two to three weeks time okay. and now we can get to the next stage. Awesome. All right. Thank Any you. questions at all? No, no. <laughs> I've learned a lot actually, but it's good. Very good. Going about two, three shades up. Lightness. So John, we just got to the end of the whitening process, but I just wanted to talk about when you first came and the um, scan that we did as well. How did you find the checkup and the, the scan that we did? Yeah, it was great. It was the first time I've had, obviously, any treatment like this, so yeah. didn't know what to expect. But it was it was really uh, like simple to follow and. Found the whole process quite interesting yes. to see how I could improve, you know, my my teeth, and obviously it's an important part of uh, your day to day well being, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, so it's been smooth. How did you find the scan in particular? 
yeah, it was again like really interesting to see like what Matty looked like, and mm. I think it can be like neglected, can't it? Yeah, sort of when you actually see the scans and see like how you, your actual mouth looks. Yes. I think well, actually, I could maybe be a little bit more healthier here. And with that scan, we're able to also make your lightning trays. Um, so how do you find using the lightning trays with the lightning gels and daytime, overnight, how was that for you? Yeah, it was it was super simple. I think the nighttime ones took me a couple of nights to get used to, yeah. <laughs> like anything else. Like when you put in something in your mouth, it, it took me back a little bit to when I was younger, I had a brace and then that whole process. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really like simple to use um, and like if ever I had sensitivity, I, I sort of took a break or like increased the, the time between the, putting the trays in. But it was all in all like very, um, it, it was it was quite a, a cool process to watch every day. Yeah. At what <laughs> point, what awesome. day would you say you noticed? I'd say after a week yeah. to two weeks, I really noticed it and um, because I do a lot of stuff uh, on camera in, in yeah. my work, um, I've, I've not said anything to anyone. A couple of the guys were like, your teeth look really white. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I didn't say anything. I was like, oh, cheers. <laughs> so obviously that, that's a good sign. Yes. But yeah, I'd say like a week to two weeks, I really started noticing it, um, which was like nice to see in the morning. I yeah. look forward to it in the morning. Yes. I'm going to take them out, brush it and see the difference. So. Fantastic. Well, it's been a pleasure getting to treat you and meet you, um, and all the best um, with everything that you're doing. Thank you very much. All right. It's been a pleasure.